That's okay. Hopefully you should be able to hear me now. <laughs> good job because somebody didn't charge it up last night and that he left it on. So hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> if somebody can just let us know and we'll try and find the video. Yeah, my computer's going on a ghost though, so I may have to uh, close some programs. So, good morning everybody and welcome to Planacraft. My name's Ian and Natalie's lumbered me with a, another challenge. So I'm here again trying to uh, see what I can break today. <laughs> uh, we'll see what damage I can do. Okay, I'm getting there slowly. Getting there. Okay. So, first things first. Whilst we're just waiting for that to uh, Sorry. catch up. That's fortunately it hasn't got that far yet, so they can't hear me yet anyway. No. <laughs> um. Come on. There we go. There we go, so. We're in. Yeah, we're so, in. first of all, say hi to Linda. Yep, yeah, morning, Linda. My mum. Morning, Mum. <laughs> morning, Marion. Morning, Linda again. Sorry. <laughs> Sandra and Beatrice. And sound is all good. <laughs> Sounds all good. That's cool because it's from across the room. So just let me know if I go a bit quiet because I just have to shout a little bit. Yeah, I'll give him a poke. <laughs> <laughs> poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, morning, Katrina. Glad you could join us. So this morning we're going to be doing a little bit of foiling onto some pattern paper. So Natalie's picked out this sheet for me. So it's got some lovely text on it and what she'd like me to try and do is foil an outline around this aloha on this bottom piece of the paper here. So that's what we were going to attempt to do this morning. Note the word attempt. <laughs> Again this could go horribly wrong because it's me doing it, it usually does. Doesn't it not? Mm -hmm. So first things first. I'm going to put my sheet of paper onto my 12 by 12 mat. Now I'm using an Artistix mat this morning and they are now back available on the website, on Lee's website of artistixdirect.com. Um, they've been off sale for a while, he had a supplier issue, but they are now officially back on the website and available for sale. Please make sure you get the right one for your machine, it's very easy to get the wrong one. So just make sure you pick up the right one for your machine when you're on the website. If you need help, drop a message and we can have a look for you and send you the right link. Um, and also if you are ordering, we have a discount code which we give to our students. So if you just drop us a message, either Planacraft or Natalie or myself, and we will give you the discount code so you can get 10% discount. Sandra's telling me to get your vocal heating. <laughs> I didn't get charged over No, it didn't get charged, so this could be interesting. Uh, who's that just come? Sorry, I missed the start. Carrick, is that? Yeah, Carrick on uh, YouTube. So, morning, Carrick. You haven't missed much. You haven't missed much yet. We, we were a bit slow starting, so. <laughs> Oh, I think Marion's juggled her iPad. Is that because you didn't realise? Oh, the discount code. Yeah. No. So, do you, do you want to just say what paper you're using? Yep, yeah. so the paper we're using today is a B&M pad, and it's Tropical Paradise, mix and match pad design. You can see we didn't pay a lot for it, it's still got the price tag at the top. <laughs> um, and it's 20 sheets. And it's got lots of different patterns and designs in there. It's a really funky pad. Uh, lots of really bright colours, chameleons. Uh, lots of little cards as well as 6x6. Sort of six six. So if you're into, into your project life, it's a really good pad for that. Yeah, and you got lots of little 6x4s as well. So lots of funky... Do you want to show that a bit more on camera? You're a bit off, Ian. Oh, 
Sorry. Let me get. Let me flip back to Streamlabs so you can see a bit it's better. It's hard to see, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you I go. turn it that way. I was going to say, pop it down a bit. So there we go. So some 6 by 6s some 6 by 12s Got a nice geometric. Uh, some 4 by 6s some more 6 by 12s 6 by 12s the other way. <laughs> it was the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some 6x4s and some 6x12. Yeah, nice long strips as so well. There's lots of different selections and bits to play with. There's a few full, full sheet papers yeah, in there, but not many. Full sheets as well. um, five or six full sheets in there, isn't there? Yeah. Most of them are split up into different sections, but there's some really nice, vibrant papers in there. So, like I said, being and isn't it? £2.99 for a pack, and there's 20 sheets in there, so bargain. And who's actually said money? Uh, I will have to go back and have a look. Okay. It was, it was, it was... Sally. Good morning, Sally. Yeah, I'm just putting the machine on. Oh dear. That's power. Power helps. <laughs> We're having problems with electricity this morning. Make me remember to turn it on. <laughs> and off. Go back to bed. Let's see if my mat's going to behave this morning. We can't blame the cat. <laughs> Tracy didn't get a notification either. Tracy? So, oh, Tracy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's a couple of people that didn't get notifications, which is no good. Hey, Matt's loaded. That's good. You, you were having issues with it yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, it started again this morning, but I managed to get it in. So. First things first, we're going to do a background scan. Now, to be able to no, do no, that, no, I need no, to put no, a shape no. on me, Matt. No. 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 You want to act like you're a low her, don't you? So, therefore, you're going to use direct cut. Direct cut, am I? Yeah. Okay. That told me, didn't it? The boss has spoken. <laughs> so, direct cut. Am I getting the machine down? But <coughs> I'm going to try black and white. Let me change the camera. Yeah, because it's high contrast. So. And I'm going to start that again. <laughs> because I wasn't on the right camera. So, where's my pokey tool? Where's my pokey tool? So, we're going to go to the scan. Direct cut. We're going to get the machine to handle it, and we're going to try black and white. Now, the reason we're trying black and white is a nice high contrast image, so you've got nice uh, white on the dark background. So hopefully it should pick it up nice and easily. I'm going to start. text, which is really an uh, important bit that we want it to pick up. So the trick with the contrast is you can take it right down and sometimes it will pick more up or you can take it right up to the other end. And it's always good to test both ends first and see which one you get the best results on. There's 
let that recognise for a minute. There's a little bit, but it's actually picked up all the little brush marks on the inside rather than just the outside edge. So let's take it the other way and see what that does. The other way might just pick out and bring it the other way. No, that's worse. So let's try it up one. We might have to go back and do it colour just because it's picking up all the wrong bits rather than picking up just the outside edges. You can't do it. Can't handle it. Oh, good colour then. It's always worth testing out black and white first. Yeah. Try something. You're trying your contrast, are you? Smoothing. Smoothing. Because that picked up something the other day, didn't it? Make it look better. Nope, good colour. So any questions while Ian's redoing the scan? Doesn't necessarily have to be a foiling question, it can be a drawing question. Is that in case I get it wrong? <laughs> um, somebody asked about the Nubo glitter pens. Maybe we could test those out, but I don't think we've got any. But you've got your brush pens, your Nuvo ones that you could try. Got your Nuvo brush pens? Yeah. So the ones my pack to me? Yeah. Okay. That might be another day though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wasn't necessarily meaning... Today? Today. Okay. Yeah, I'll, um, we can do that, can't we? So the difference with the colour scan is it actually allows you to frame the image before it gets to sort of like the recognising mode. Um, so you can just chop off those top two. So the top bits I can take out completely and bring it down and we're trying out my that low power again. So let's see what that does. Ooh, that's better. And it's picked up a bit so that <coughs> We don't want around the outside, but we can sort those out later, but it's still a bit fuzzy on these outside edges. So let's have a look at changing that smoothing a little bit. two colours and see if it can pick up the difference between the white and the There we go, that's what we wanted. So the only thing that's missing is actually the inside of the letters, so that's not too bad. It's actually going to highlight the outside edge of the letters, which is what we want it to do. So we can go OK. And OK. Do you want a bit of a border around it? Or do you want it to actually just pick up the, the text? Just literally just pick up that text around the edge. Okay, 
So we'll leave it at that. That's fine. I can cope with that. So next we're going to pop some foil over the top. So Natalie wanted this traced in purple. So we have our lovely purple foil that we've been using and reusing and abusing. So I have my sheet of purple. Now because this is my 12 by 12 piece, I don't need anything to cover the edges with. Yes. So look, no, no, no. For a another stream, maybe later today, um, with regards to a development with the foil shield. Um, those of you who are frequent viewers of our streams will know we have a product called Foil Shield, um, which is a frame that we put around the outside of our mat. Um, which allows you ah. to attach. Speak up a bit because Tracy's struggling to hear you. So Tracy. The 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 microphone is away Charging from you a bit. Here. Um so I was saying we may do another stream just to the group later um because we are looking at de developing my foil shield um so it has a a better frame and some inserts to go with it. Um, and making it more durable so we want people's thoughts on what they think of it whether or not it's something they think they'd purchase um, and if they think there's something we could do differently so if, you can, if you'd like to have a look at that later we'll, I'll see about doing a stream on that later this afternoon um, but that will only go to the group obviously because we don't want it going out publicly just yet and the group is private so can I have the foil quill, please? Do. Is it stay okay. Yes. Is it nice and warm? It's very warm. Good, good. So I have my. Can you just pass me the little colour book there, sweetie? Little colour. Yeah, that one. Thank you. So I have my foil attached to my mat, and I'm going to use my foil quill. And this has a 3D fun prints adapter on it. Um, which is provided by Carl and it just replaces the We Are Member Keepers one because we have our stuff on a different nib <laughs> seems to have glued itself on um, but they work just as well um, so when we go to select and draw minus six, might put that pressure up a little bit because it's a big tip isn't it? Go to minus two and we can go to start. It'll say attach appropriate holder, that's just because the 3D fun prints one and not the um, We Are Memory Keepers one. You press OK. Start. Let me scan and leave it in the wrong position. OK, and start. And away it will go. I didn't change camera doing that, did I? Apologies, I didn't change the camera. Nobody shouted at me, mind you, you can't see. No, nobody shouted at you, you're right. <laughs> Do you want to just angle the camera a bit better there, sweetie? Because we can't see. It's done now. <laughs> it's quick today. I was going to say, is that on three rather than one? What speed? Yeah. Yeah. You might want to do it again then, send it round again. To get the best foil. Okay. Leave it on three and send it again, you reckon? No, set it to one and go over again. Tracy's <laughs> <laughs> going, <"Hey>, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I've done, I've just changed the settings, so we have our 
draw pressure up to minus two, and we have our draw speed now is down to one, so it's a little bit slower. It's going to take two minutes instead of one. And press start, it says attach appropriate holder. I'll do it all again because I didn't do it on screen last time. Um, we just press OK because the um, it's the Carl's 3D thumbprint holder, that's all. Start, and away it goes. Just re stuck my tape down a little bit as well on that one corner because it uh, rooked up a little bit. You can do the inside of the lattice too at some point. <laughs> no, because it didn't pick those up. If you shrink down your window, it should pick them up after. Just so you can't see the, the very outside of that line. Then it will look for the inside shapes. Mm. Top tip that. There you go. Maybe another day. No. It's otherwise it will never get done. Might have to uh, show putting this into a scrapbook layout. If I can find some photos to go with. So that's done those. I'm going to leave my foil coil in place and do like Natalie said and adjust the... I take the foil coil out to do it. Not because of time. Well, because of heat. I'll leave it attached, but... Yeah. <laughs> Remove the foil coil. Remove the foil. By order of dumb management. Hmm? You might need to remove the foil. Why? Right. I'll go back to see if it'll let you edit the uh, trace. Yeah, ideally with the foil quill you are better off going slower, which is why I got in to go back over it slower. Yeah, it just helps bond better. Missing the top of the one L, but that we can live with that, can't we? Yeah, just about. <laughs> just do the bits you can, and um, you can always fix the L in the next round. Yeah. I got it now. You got it now. I got it. Now. Okay. I'm going to leave everything where it is on my map because I don't want it to move. And draw. Put your quill back in. <laughs> Reattach my quill back, which is still nice and hot. We're going to get a start. We have our appropriate holder. Save. Back to draw. Start. Okay. And start. And away that'll go.
No, that's done. the inside just another run. So if we gave the outside a double run so I might just do the same with the inside. So we're gonna go okay. Select draw draw do it again just so it uh, gives it that extra crispiness when it uh, does your lines. Nope, nothing yet. So if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask. I'm seeing all the comments, but it matches what I'm seeing on the video, which is weird. to um, cut this out for you? No, it's okay because it'll just go... You'll just trim it? I'll just trim it because it goes edge to edge. You can't really do it with the scanning cut. Okay. So, I will... Well, that is how, using your scanning cut... You can add foiling to printed paper. And you can add foiling to your paper. I'll just take this off the mat. now of that text. There you go, mission accomplished. And the foil we're using is our foil. And it's a foil that's available off Buy Me A Coffee. Um, you can buy it in a taster pack which is 6 by 6 inch sheets. Um, or we have um, the, you can buy the individual colours. Um, so we have nine colours available at the moment. So we have uh, gold, rose, gold, white. I was thinking, why does it look so dark? You haven't got the lights on. I haven't got my light on. So I'm going to turn that one on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Is that better? Uh, I can get a bit of reflection there off the foil now. And you can see a bit of the, the shimmer on the, uh, the foil. And I've lost my track now of the colours as well. There we go. So, uh, thank you, Sally. Thanks, up for Now. It does yep. a little bit, yeah. It, it's brought it out quite, made it pop a little bit, which is quite cool. I was going to uh, going to say that we could do with showing how we can use the foil with a laminator. What our foil? Yeah, it's another stream. Another stream, yes. So um, working with die cuts and things like that with it. Yeah. So that we can get a nice flat foil. Yeah, would be nice. So I might pop on in a little while um, after lunch. Um, and just to show the 
foil shield on the group, so that will only be to the group. It won't be to YouTube, YouTube or um, Twitch. Twitch, because we want to keep it private for now. Oh, well, we're getting feedback and comments. So if you want to join us, please um, come and join us on the group, which I can't remember the name of because I never can. I can never pronounce it. Go on. Hmm? Group title. Slankert and Papercraft courses classes and workshops by Slankert. That's it to the mic. <laughs> Scanning cut and paper craft courses, classes, and workshops by Planner Craft. There you go. So that's where we will be going live to later. Um, and that's just purely about the foil shield. So if you want to see what that's all about or what we've done to it, then uh, please do uh, pop along and watch that. Other than that, if there are no other questions, um, I shall let you go and have some lunch. And we shall pop back later this afternoon. Any questions? I will just have a look quick. Um, we'll have a look. Um, Amanda, if you're watching, I will go and find you the link. Uh, this is my first time asking a question. I've never done any foiling, although I bought the rubber foiling set a year ago and just come back to using my machine after a long break. Does your foil work with this? Yes. Any any foil will work with the Brother foiling kit because that's cold foiling. When it's hot foiling you have to have a special foil which is what our foil is. Um, can I ask, do you need a power bank for the foil quilt or can I plug it into the USB socket on the extension need? Either. We use a extension, we have a power bank, it's the We Are Memory Keepers one. This one's quite expensive but it was designed with the foil quill when they first brought it out um, and we got it, didn't we? Yep, um, we've used it into the, the light before now. Yeah, you can use alternatives, um, so if you've got an extension that's close enough just be wary the cable isn't super duper long, so just make sure you've got enough play on your cable so that you can get the full length of the machine and still have it plugged in. The the only one that we wouldn't advise you using is plugging it into the USB in the machine. It's not meant for that. No, it's, it's not, not strong enough. enough. And you, you're more likely to burn out your machine, so it's not a good idea. Any other questions? Uh, Marion says she's losing the sound to so speak a bit. I thought it looks like it's gone on a bit skew with. <laughs> if you look at the, the side of the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. That's probably a bit better. Re aim the boom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need it? We've done that one, power bank. Uh, anything else? I think that's it. I didn't see anything else. There's lots of likes and loves. Cool. Um, and. Tracy says the summer would look good foil too. <laughs> Maybe another stream. Oh, you, you could have done that in the pink. Mm. In the pink? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I'll see if I can twist his arms to, to, to show you something else later. Maybe. Maybe. It's very really expensive stuff. Very, very expensive, but <laughs> it would look good. <laughs> so, I will say a thank you and hopefully you found that informative and enjoyable um, and I said if you have any questions after we've cross stream you can always drop us a message in the group um, and we will get back to you as soon as we see it um, I don't think we've got anything on today that means we're not available does it? No, no we should be alright <laughs> and Tracy's going back to work now, <laughs> back to work now. <laughs> lovely <laughs> Right, and hopefully we will see you all in a short while regarding the foil shield. So, shall I say about half twelve for that? Yep. Yep. So, if you're interested in the foil shield, I'll be on the group at half twelve with um, a little bit of information about that, um, warranting your feedback. So, I will be expecting you to answer questions and give me some ideas. So, thank you again very much, and we look forward to seeing you then. Bye.